Welcome to Humanity Africa on TOS TV Network, where we discuss women-related issues. On today's episode, we'll be focusing on high inflation of the economy and its impact on women in Nigeria. Negatively, it has affected women psychologically and emotionally in the, the home front especially. She has to stay all night to think of how to fend and feed the family. What she has on ground is what the what she has to actually buy goods to do business for the following day or for the week is what she has used to feed the family. So um, to even invest in any other services or something, she cannot because she um, because of the rates of um, high price of um, things in the society. Today on a normal day, if you come to the market with money, you, you should be smiling back home, like knowing fully well that you'll be able to purchase a, a number of things. But currently, as I was coming, I've been thinking in my head, what exactly is the thing I'm going to scrap out of my list so that I'm, I'm able to buy some specific things. So now I have to choose if I have to buy fish or I have to buy meat. So I have to make option. I can't buy all of it on my list. It's true, Nigeria is facing uh, inflation. Things are very expensive. If you buy anything in the morning, you come back in the evening, it's not the same price. And cost of living is going high every day. If there's an increment in price of food, most especially, you notice, and there's no corresponding increase in salaries or wages, you notice that when a woman takes uh, 50,000 naira to the market to buy goods and services. Maybe before you could buy, uh, uh, you know, a lot of goods. But now, because of inflation, the price of everything has doubled. If you go to the market now, oh, there's over 20% inflation rate going on right now. That means the prices of goods ever, or services have increased by 20%. Why I'm not finding it so difficult is because I sell the food stuff. If I should be out of these cells today, I don't think I'll be able to meet up with my family. If the government should improve in our life, that standard of life, and also we should not depend on the dollar. 